Hi everyone, welcome to the first episode of Azure Whiteboarding series uh, as part of the Azure Enablement Show. This series is for builders and developers like you, where we aim to provide short and precise conversations on well-architected Azure solutions. Welcome to the Azure Enablement Show. Today's discussion is focused on artificial intelligence, which is one of the most rapidly evolving fields of technology. Uh, we will be discussing how to securely use Azure OpenAI service to prevent data leaks in your organization. We also have a short demo in a few minutes and a list of great resources in the description section. Be sure to check them out. Joining us today is Shane Baldacino, who is a Chief Architect with Microsoft Australia. Hi, Shane. Uh, welcome to the show. Uh, it's a pleasure having you here. Hello, Hashitha, and hello to those watching. So a session for builders, that sounds amazing. Hopefully our viewers can follow alongside us today. Uh, awesome, uh, let's get started. Uh, so tell us what is Azure OpenAI service and why should we use it with a private interface? Two great questions there. So look, Azure mm -hmm. OpenAI is a product that in simple terms provides you access to OpenAI's large language models such as GPT, to which you can leverage for various tasks in a private and secure manner. OpenAI's ChatGPT is amazing on so many levels, and it's free. But you know what they say, if something is free, then you're the product. So your prompts, the questions you ask, will be used to further train OpenAI's large language model. Are you okay with this valuable stream of data exiting your organization? Uh, well, I don't think anyone would be happy with uh, their data leaving the organization, right? I don't think so. So look, if you are watching and are responsible for your organization's security posture, how are you ensuring that your private intellectual property is not being leaked out of your company? Azure's OpenAI operates a copy of OpenAI's large language models in Azure, meaning your prompts, the questions will not be used to train their models. There are many more benefits, but for most organizations, this is the headline change. Uh, with that being said, uh, can you tell us uh, about the solution that you have built and show the architecture diagram to our customers? Absolutely. So look, the world over has established that we love ChatGPT. It's resonated with users, not just techies. Now, I've built a private ChatGPT interface with the same look and feel, as that's important, as ChatGPT with the protections that you need in place to ensure your data is safe. In this solution, you can leverage plugins, just like ChatGPT, but you can bring your own private data as this is powered by the Azure OpenAI service. Now, let me jump over to a whiteboard and walk you through our architecture. Firstly, this is a really simple architecture. It has been optimized for speed and low administrative effort. It always begins and starts with DNS. So you could use Azure DNS or you could bring your own. Our ingress is based on Azure front door and we've used it in two ways. Firstly, as a content delivery network for our static content. And then secondly, as a private backhaul to my local Azure region, which is the origin. The compute layer is hosted by Azure Container Apps. Our application is based on what's called Chatbot UI. So it's based on a container and it's powered by Node.js. Azure Container Apps will fetch a container image from the container registry, in this case, GitHub Container Registry, and will then host and scale the container based on my scaling rules. Our Node.js application will then make calls to the Azure OpenAI service, call the appropriate model. So in this scenario, it's either chat GPT 35 Turbo or four, then proxy all the responses back via Azure front door. Thanks for the run through, Shane. Uh, for customers who want to learn more, what resources do we have for them? Look, this was a whirlwind walkthrough, but it illustrated just how easy it is for you to stand up your own private chat GPT. If you'd like more details, check out the blog post on the Microsoft Tech Community website that will hold your hand on how to build this. The URL will be in the show notes here. That's great. Uh, thanks again, Shane. For more information on the resources of this architecture, please check out the description section. Thank you for joining us today and watch for more episodes of the Azure Whiteboarding series on the Azure Enablement Show. Thank you and uh, have a great day. Thanks and keep on building. Mm -hmm.